backup camera, two side view mirrors. There's two side view uh, cameras shifting into drive. That's how we shift. Navigate to Anderson Equipment, Syracuse, New York. Drive east on Stony Robbie Road for 1.4 miles. <clears throat> so, hi everybody, Kevin here. Well, it is uh, November 5th, 2024. It's election day and uh, here in the United States. And we just went ahead, the and I went this morning and uh, voted. And then uh, after that, we went to the recycle center dropped off uh, some old equipment and recyclables as well. So that was pretty nice. Now our road, uh, so I'm in, uh, in Thor, the uh, 2024 Cybertruck. This is a four wheel, uh, all wheel drive unit. So it's four wheel drive unit, adv sort of an adventure, uh, amazing truck. Well, right now, one of the things I'm in full self driving, which means that it's going to navigate for me. It shows that we're going at 25 miles per hour and the maximum speed limit is 25 because it doesn't have a speed limit sign here. So I'm just going to depress the accelerator some. Just make us go a little bit faster since it, uh, the computer in here doesn't recognize that this is a 40 mile per hour speed zone here. Uh, so this is uh, full self-driving assisted and, uh, and I thought I'd just make a video while I'm going to chat with you about things going on around here and talk to you a little bit about the Cybertruck, my experiences so far with it, what I like. Uh, and, uh, and there'll be videos to come in the future as far as some of the modifications, the accessories that I'll be installing as well. So for example, uh, one of the accessories that I'll be installing is, uh, so right now on the screen here, I have it so that I'll just pull this over, oh, go ahead and there we go. So I'm making it so we can see a larger screen. The, the map, the directions are all over in the upper right hand corner. This is a rear view camera here. Uh, one of the challenges is right here is the rear view mirror. And uh, a big complaint that there is is that, well, this is a tiny rear view mirror and with the tonneau cover or the uh, the bed of the truck being completely sealed up, you, the, the, uh, the, only the camera works, the uh, rear view... In 1,000 feet, turn right onto State Route 48. The rear view uh, mirror can't see with the t closed tonneau cover at all. So, and, and I'm used to looking at a rear view mirror up here, and I'm sure that Tesla realizes this, and since full self-driving... Now turn right onto State Route 48. Since full self-driving is uh, evolving so rapidly, uh, all of these things aren't going to be necessary, just like with the uh, cyber cab that they just released. So we're at the intersection. One thing that's a little bit annoying is that... Uh, because of NISHTA, National Highway uh, Traffic and Safety, uh, got after uh, Tesla for their full self-driving uh, not coming to a complete stop. It, acts, it, it was acting more like a normal person. You get up to the, sp to the spot that you want to go, you're checking, you're just rolling, uh, you know, gently rolling, may not come to a complete stop. Well, NISHTA made uh, Tesla go ahead and now we're doing 38 miles an hour here at a 45 so I'm going to just depress the accelerator just so I don't annoy people behind me and all and I can change so right there it shows the max so it's the speed limit the sign that it saw was 45 miles per hour and the max is there I can use my scroll wheel and I'll just say go to 49 miles per hour this won't isn't necessarily responding right off the bat uh, and I have it. Uh, I have a lot to learn about how to set the settings for autopilot in here. So uh, one thing that's different between it, the, the, this newer version of full self-driving is you used to have to have a hand on the wheel in previous versions, but now they're using the camera here to make sure that I'm spending enough time looking ahead and ready to intervene 
if the computer makes a mistake on some, on some for some reason. So, and I haven't had anything. I had it uh, do, so right now it just said going down to 40, so I'm going to say all of these things, these offset, so you can have it so that it's going to, see now why it's going down to 32 is beyond me. So that's, that is annoying, that needs to be adjusted. So I take my foot off the accelerator now, well, I don't think it will go below the uh, 40, and it's set to the, to the max of 44, and it's going 44 now. So I'll have to see, I've only made, uh, made a couple of very short trips, not trips that people would talk about, uh, like most people, YouTubers who are uh, demonstrating full self-driving in their, in their various vehicles. But uh, I have it set in here so that it isn't going at the rate of other traffic because uh, it was speeding uh, and I don't want to get a ticket. I'm at that point in, in life that I, I, you know, a ticket isn't worth it for me. I got to say a couple of things about this truck. Uh, it is, we're, uh, our roads around here got, are loaded with potholes and these, uh, what are they? I think they're 22 inch rims, 20 inch or 22 inch rims, but the tires are 35 inch tires. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Oneida Street. Goodyear tires that are specially made for the Cybertruck. And I'll, I'll tell you, this with the suspension and all, this is such a comfortable uh, ride. It's just fantastic. So, so I guess we're going to go across the bridge here. So we're going down to Syracuse, Now turn New York. left onto Oneida Street. We live in Oswego, New York, out, out in the country, actually in the town of Granby. Uh, and uh, so it's, it's country where we live, uh, very rural America. Nothing like New York when most people think of New York, uh, they think of the city. <clears throat> where we live, it's, it's more, more country although it has been getting more populated over the years. So, it's so comfortable and relaxing with having full self-driving. Uh, it's just wonderful. Now, you'll see, it'll show the person, it didn't show the dog just then, but it'll show each one of these people. And, uh, and this isn't the latest version of the full self-driving. I know that there's another new release and, uh, and I can't remember. In 500 the... feet, turn right onto South 2nd Street. So this just isn't the latest version. The, 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 the next version, when it comes out to 13... Now turn right onto South 2nd Street. That's going to be uh, another game changer as far as its ability and functionality. Uh, doing more and more like what people would typically do. Now when the turn signal's on, the rear view camera's off right now, so it's showing the right side and you can see the vehicles in the intersections pretty cool the map is still over here in the upper right hand corner now this is a right on red okay now it's a green and that was comfortable for me many people when I was younger that would have been too slow to take off for me but you know I like the way that this drives very very much so what will this truck be used for? Well, this is our farm truck, our, our work truck around, around the farm. It's also for our, our used book sales. Uh, uh, and so it'll be hauling different uh, books and you know, boxes, heavy boxes of books and all, which the Model Y has done fantastic. And we've had the, the uh, uh, 2020 Model Y, bought that new in September of uh, 2020. It, is, it, it, it has been the best vehicle ever in our lives. And this is even an upgrade from that. Um, I'm just getting used to the seats in here. I, I'm starting to think that these are every bit as good as the seats in the Model Y. Thea thinks that, because I think these are set for bigger guys too. Um, but the Model Y seats are absolutely very, very comfortable. Awesome. And I think that this is, is great. Now this, how quiet this vehicle is, is so nice. Uh, you know, it's got a 
a kick butt uh, sound system in here as well. Although I am not as much of a music uh, enthusiast as I used to be years ago. Uh, I listen to more to either audiobooks or podcasts, those sorts of things, than, than anything else. And of course, when you're not driving here, this screen, you can play games, uh, all different, uh, you know, uh, arcade type games or PC games that all play on here. You can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube, uh, you can watch Hulu. Uh, and I just, I'm just not into it. Uh, this has got lots of bells and whistles and all, really, really fantastic. You can see the detail of all the, all the, the vehicles in each location here. Really, really nice. And uh, if, I, if I decide to turn and I hit the turn signal, now the turn signals, there's no stalks here. There's no Prindle, uh, park, reverse, neutral, drive, low, and all, uh, anything on the floor or anything. Uh, everything's controlled either through this screen or the back screen. There's a back screen for the back seat passengers as well, where they can watch movies or play games while we're driving. Uh, right now, with someone in this driver's seat uh, uh, and driving, you can't play games on here. You can do, you listen to music and all those sorts of things, podcasts, uh, but no games at all. So, so, okay, now it's a yellow light here. Yep. So, just exactly what I would do. And you see the vehicles, you see the vehicles parked over there, see the street lights as well. Uh, it'll show you the, uh, you know, when there's uh, construction work going on, the different cones, fenced off areas. Uh, really really nice uh, I like this a lot it's so relaxing uh, it's got great lumbar support in these seats very comfortable uh, if I feel the need to, that I have to pass someone this thing kicks butt uh, uh, I've done it a couple of times in the Model Y I haven't done it in this truck yet uh, because I've pretty much been using full self-driving every place I go and, uh, and again, I'm just learning about this. So one of the things I mentioned was this uh, rear view mirror. Uh, a lot of people would like to have a, you know, uh, a screen instead of the mirror, since the mirror can't really see out there. So putting something like this right up there, and that would work great. The position of the camera that's shooting this, this image here for the, uh, for the for behind us, the rear view camera, that's on the tailgate, and it's fairly high uh, on the tailgate. And uh, and if I were to be hauling plywood or material like that, eight foot sheet, since it's a six foot bed, uh, the tailgate would be down, and therefore I wouldn't be able to see what's behind me if I'm hauling stuff that's where I need the tailgate down. So, uh, and I always like to know what's going on around me at all times. So uh, I did, uh, you know, someone contacted me after my first uh, video on using uh, Thor here, uh, reached out to me and said, geez, would you like to evaluate some of our accessories? And, you know, and, and I get, every day I get some requests in my, you know, why it's, just going to hit the accelerator some just to speed up a little bit so every day I get almost every day I get requests for uh, for, for a collaboration with someone it may be they want, they want to have me uh, evaluate uh, a heating pad it might be uh, a tool might be art set any number of things obviously they don't watch this channel but they always start off with oh we're a fan of your channel uh, would you like to collaborate you, you make a video on this product and, uh, and they'll send me the, the product for free and sometimes they'll offer a discount uh, for the viewers if they do it and, and, and 
there's far too many people doing that, uh, quite honestly, unless it's something that I really think can be beneficial. So I've done some things like the, uh, the sacred chainsaw, the pole saw, uh, those, those tools, uh, a weed puller. Uh, so there's different tools that, that I think, geez, I could actually use on the farm, and I do use on the farm. And, uh, and I use them pretty regularly. And so I have posted videos as a review. And then I also make reviews on things that I get that there's no sponsor like Tesla. <laughs> you know, I bought this truck and, uh, and I'm in love with it already. Uh, so this is just fantastic. Uh, so what else did I want to say? So one of the things that uh, I think it's Devin from Hands Show uh, uh, Company they make lots of different Tesla products. Now, they probably make products for all, all different lines, but he reached out to me at all and uh, wondered if I'd do a review of their, uh, of their rear view mirror replacement. Now, this rear view mirror replacement has a dash cam, so another one camera that's going to be facing forward that can record all the time, and a camera that I can mount in the back of the truck. And so I could still have this, that the Tesla uh, rear view uh, image that displays on the main screen here. I'd like it if this were bigger, quite honestly. But can I pull, yeah, so I can pull it over and pull it to different locations and all. But I'd like it a little bit bigger than what it is. Uh, maybe that's because of my age. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. But I would like, like that a great deal. So uh, I'm pretty excited about reviewing this, and uh, and I don't know where I'm going to mount the rear view camera right now. I don't want to put it on the tailgate, and the reason that I don't want it on the tailgate is because this camera is on the tailgate, and if I'm hauling materials with the tailgate down, it defeats the purpose of me seeing what's going on behind me. Uh, some people mount them down on the back bumper one of the locations of the back bumper, which uh, certainly can work, and I think that would be neat. I just, if I put it in the center, when I'm hauling, or I have a trailer hitch there, and I have a big, heavy uh, trailer hitch for my dump trailer, and for the other trailers as well that I have, but I want to be able to see what's going on back there. So there is a spot where the tonneau cover comes up from hidden down and below and covers up the bed of the truck. There's a spot that isn't glass because this is all glass, uh, big, a humongous uh, glass windshield here. So it's deciding uh, to go around this person since we're getting close. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, and I'm keeping an eye on what's coming up behind us and all. It's a pretty, pretty calm day here. So the big glass here, the big glass, uh, armor glass, this is all armor glass uh, window that everybody can see when they're sitting in the back seat and all. We do have a, a sun uh, visor that fits up above it as well for those people who live in warmer climates, Tucson, Texas, you know, where there's lots of sunshine beating into the, to the vehicle. So, uh, so putting it, Mounting a camera, I guess that's my thought, is trying to to fish the wires around, and I'll make a video showing just exactly how I do do it, and I'm going to be completely honest. And, uh, and they did, uh, uh, they are allowing me to give to give people uh, 22, I think it's a 22% off if you click the link in the description of the video. Not this video, because it'll, it won't come up until I... I post the video of the uh, installation so I'm pretty excited about that uh, since this is a work truck uh, there are some other items that I ordered no one sending them to me uh, so it's going to get over now yep. this is so nice really really nice and uh, so there's some cargo bins that I ordered and a, uh, 
a separator that can divide the back uh, the, the bed of the truck so it can fit into some of the uh, slot locations on each side of the truck so there's tie downs back there which are great but having a partition a removable partition that's mobile that can that you can adjust uh, in the back of the truck I think is an awesome idea so that's something I'm looking forward to getting Th those are a couple things I ordered uh, and they're taking quite some time to get here uh, but the bins in the back are collapsible and I really like the idea of the collapsible bins so this is all ha happening just as I would do as far as passing it all here. Really, really nice. So the speed limit here is 65 miles an hour. I have the max set to 70 miles per hour. And uh, it's making the adjustments, making, turning the turn signals really, really well. And if I were to hit the turn signal, which all the controls, see, I forgot this. So you either have the screen controls here with a big menu when it's not driving that you can go through. And certainly I can bring up some of the menu items and go through them. But uh, Hello? Are you there? Yes, am I the first person that's called you in the cyber truck? That's right, honey, you're calling me. No, I wanted to know if I was the first one. Oh, you're Woo. the first and only one, honey. Oh, my God. Two things. I thought you were going to bring the hand card. Yeah, I forgot that, apparently. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they should have something there. Don't hurt your back. Okay. Um, second thing is, is um, do I deposit it in shares or in checking? Checking. Okay. Okay, I'm just going down Stony Robbie Road on the way. The kitchen is clean and I'm on my way. Sounds good, hon. So, I love, love you. you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, hon. So that was my first call from my lovely young wife in the Cybertruck. And I guess it'll do text messages and read you the text messages for those people who are distracted by their phones. And I think that's a pretty common thing in new, newer vehicles nowadays. So, I can't remember what I was talking about before. Short-term memory here. But, uh, so one of the things we're doing today is I'm heading down to the uh, Anderson Equipment, which is the, uh, the facility they, they sell heavy equipment. And, uh, and a few years ago, I purchased Elon and the Hulk. And the Hulk is a uh, Takushi TL12 V2 track loader. And because of the work that I've been doing recently, well, over the last, last few years, uh, and sand and gravel, rocks and all, I've really worn down the drive sprockets which drive the unit. And uh, they, they're, they're what hook into the tracks and propel the, the tracks forward. Really good job here with this transition. It's hugging off to the, to the side, you know, the, the solid line over here to the side. So far, so good. Uh, so that's what I'm doing, going down and picking those up. And Thea was just telling me, geez, you were going to bring the hand cart because there's a sprocket for each side, each track. And, uh, and I do all my own repairs and maintenance on my equipment and all. So it just, just if you notice, there was a red line there a moment ago. And uh, it decided to turn over but a red light will show up uh, when there's potentially someone going into your blind spot. And that person was taking the exit ramp, so that worked out beautifully. So, so far so good. 
So these sprockets are pretty heavy. I'll probably be bringing one at a time out to the truck. So, uh, it, was it yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, I had to go down to Harbor Freight and pick up a toolbox and a swiggle. And, uh, <coughs> and, uh, and I got one of their U.S. General 42-inch uh, tool, ca tool cabinets on wheels. And I've got several of their 56-inch ones, which we're trying to get our whole workshop better organized so that we're is the, uh, the different jobs that I do all over the property, whether it's uh, carpentry work, finishing work inside, painting, metal work, fabrication, uh, repair work, and, and maintenance work on, uh, on the various tractors and heavy equipment. So we have tools and, and pieces of equipment to assist us trying to get that all organized again. I've been so disorganized because it, 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 the way things have worked out in uh, the recent years is I just go from one project to the next trying to get things done. And I've got to, one, get things really organized, which is really important. And, uh, and with running the book business along with the farm and nursery business, well, that's... Uh, eating up quite a bit of our time so just a busy busy boy so oh so when I went and got the toolbox yesterday uh, of course the cyber truck in this part of the country is still a brand new thing if you're in California or Texas the cyber trucks are all over the place but they're just getting released up in this area. And uh, so, so it's sort of an attraction. People have lots of questions. And I'm not really, although I have a YouTube channel, and I'm very chatty when I'm talking on camera. Uh, in general, I just keep to myself, and, you know, eyes front. And so when people are taking pictures from their vehicles, I usually, I don't even notice it. But yesterday when I was picking up the, yesterday the day before, when I was picking up the toolbox, of course the guy's operating the forklift. <laughs> They're real nervous about scratching the trunk and all, or doing some damage. And uh, it wasn't an issue at all. And uh, they loaded it, and then a guy who works for a nearby car wash came running up the hill, and, Asked me permission to take pictures and lots of questions. So it's, uh, it's interesting seeing something that uh, that stainless steel uh, reminds me back to the DeLorean days. Uh, you know, the uniqueness of something looking so different. And of course, now everyone with the Cybertrucks are getting all the different wraps uh, that, you know, to, to make them more just, just succinct individuals and that's cool unless somebody offers me a free wrap I'm not really interested in it uh, I actually like the way the stainless steel looks and I know it is a fingerprint ma magnet but if you look at me and you see how I dress and how my hair is always disheveled and my old hat well I'm no pretty boy so the Cybertruck can be just like me, Thor. It's a workhorse, that's the way I look at it. So, interesting. Am I running out of things to talk about? Well, I, so a couple of videos have been uh, videos that, that get a lot of attention. And the Cybertruck one is one that gets a lot of attention. So I decided if I'm going down to pick up these sprockets, just go ahead and uh, do a recording at the same time. My, my voice is getting a little, little uh, sore talking this much. But uh, the other videos that have really gotten garnered a lot of attention, uh, certainly the leaf bowl, people are interested in in the process where we're making soil amendments or using wood chips, but mostly leaves this time of year, 
So I just posted a couple of videos and I'll be turning the, the leaf pile. I'll be working with the, uh, so this is interesting. This guy's slowing down. The guy's right up behind me here. And, oh, we got construction going on here. So let's see what we do in a construction zone. So uh, I'll be turning those, those leaf piles, leaf mold, and we'll be adding compost to it. And depending how the weather is this winter, and sometimes I just can't get back there and do anything. But uh, depending how the weather is, I'll be making videos showing the process of turning those leaves into really good soil for next year. And then I store some of it. We use a lot of that, that soil that we're creating uh, for all our potted plants, for the trees that we're transplanting. Uh, it's really made a big difference as far as the, uh, the health and well-being of the plants that we're growing and plants that we're, uh, that we're transplanting as well. I'm surprised it isn't showing all the orange, so it shows these little mounds. Uh, it used to show the orange of all the cones and the barrels. It shows their positioning. In one mile, take exit 8 on the right toward Northern Boulevard. I can remember when I commuted back and forth to work before I retired. All the traffic and every every year the construction going on. I don't miss that a bit. But I gotta say it's 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 much more enjoyable with full self-driving. Now once this gets uh, gets to the points where where it's no longer needing to be supervised, people can be watching movies, doing their work, um, you know, doing business work. They could be sleeping in their vehicle as well, and that's only a couple of years away, I think. Uh, the future is looking quite exciting. So. Yeah, it's, it's a blessing having this. So the other set of videos that we, we've, uh, we've gotten a lot of attention on, and I'll be making another video sometime soon when things calm down a little bit more uh, about the uh, GE um, all-in-one or one-and-done. See how this handles this. It's going to let us off here. Yes, it will. Let's see how it handles this. Now take exit 8 on the right. Man, that was beautiful. So, uh, in 1,000 feet, turn right onto Northern Boulevard. So our GE All-in-One is a uh, a new uh, heat pump washer and dryer unit that's all-in-one. And man, that's that's really gotten lots of attention. Now turn right onto Northern Boulevard. She says turn right, but we're actually oh now we're tur turning right. How are we doing here? Okay, it made that. I would have turned over a little bit quicker. I think the, the rate of acceleration there was just fine. It's, it's such a blessing just to be able to say where I want to go. Uh, and Tesla just does it. <laughs> brings me to the location and in the Costco one we showed that it will auto park you just pick the spot that you want it to park to show you the possibilities this is a so that's what I would have done going at that speed so that got to be a caution light as we're just turned to caution as we're closely approaching the intersection to intervene other than to adjust the accelerator here. There's no one on our back end. Right now it's doing 51 and a 55. I'm not going to touch the accelerator right now. I'm just going to see what it's, what it's doing. There is a truck up ahead of us. It's probably doing this speed. I don't know if it's gearing that or or what. So so anyways, back to and jumping around here as you can tell. Uh, 
In one mile, turn right onto Colomer Road. So, I will be making a video. Uh, we did uh, modify the filter. Uh, one of the challenges is the amount of maintenance that's required with the washer dryer because of the, the, uh, the way that the airflow goes through an air filter and uh, <clears throat> the way the airflow goes through an, uh, an air filter and some material can actually slip past that. So we did modify our filter that goes that's being used and Thea's the one who does all the laundry and we do lots of laundry. Towels where the cats will sometimes urinate on the towel instead of the litter boxes. So we have towels down and towels down where the entrances and all where I come in with my muddy boots and all. And uh, so we're not a typical household. So there's always dirt and grime and grease and material. But I think the machine is doing pretty darn good. Could it be better? Yes. So that was interesting, no? Could it be uh, better so that there was no maintenance required? Yes. And I did uh, find that you have a service mode that, that isn't talked about in the manual, but it's easy enough to activate. Now turn right onto Colomer Road. You're gonna go here? It's a red flashing light. So I'm going to tell it to go. So that is one, that's one place that uh, the truck, you know, it had a flashing red light there and, a, and an always stop. I believe that's what it was. Uh, so I gave it some acceleration. But everything else is going beautifully so far. And again, I'm watching it closely to make sure that if I've got to intervene, I intervene. I can see where having a vehicle with a supervised full self-driving you could become very complacent and not pay attention and have an accident. But me, the person driving, is ultimately responsible whether it's autopilot or full self-driving. Uh, often the media likes to make it look like uh, it's Tesla's fault. And, uh, you know, it's it's the it's the person who's responsible driving. It's that person's fault. So I did get some screen protectors. I still have the plastic thing on both of these. I haven't had a chance to change those. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but the the replacement for the mirror that came yesterday, yesterday afternoon. So depending on what I can get done uh, today when I get back. Uh, I'm going to see maybe if I can do an installation video because I'm excited about getting that installed. Pretty darn excited. So this part of Syracuse is East Syracuse that we're going into now. And of course when it's braking, uh, one of the things about the Tesla is it's using regenerative braking. So I don't know, I, I didn't watch it, so this, there's a little bar up here, which is 70% here, and it's the black bar. And I think that turns green when we're braking, which is makes it act, act like an alternator or a generator, putting charge back into the uh, battery pack, which is really, really handy. Uh, so uh, when you're going up and down hills and it needs to slow down, you don't wear out your brakes, when you're hauling with a trailer, you're just and you're going downhill, you're just putting in one thousand feet. Enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit. You're just putting that charge back into the battery pack, uh, extending your range. So I guess we're going right over that way to our now. Lab. Enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit. I gotta say, I'm seeing more and more roundabouts every place I go nowadays.
perfect. And I think the rate of acceleration getting into this roundabout and going at the pace of traffic is beautiful. I hear a siren someplace. Not sure where it is. I'm looking around. He's not chasing me. So. Okay, it's an ambulance up here. It's in the other uh, lane, so we're, oh, it's not an ambulance, it's a fire truck. And we're going 41 and a 45, which is just fine with me. section you're gonna stop now that was not well where's it or just stopping up here maybe it was gonna stop in the right place. so I intervened there and that was not good we got a pedestrian here so we swung out some that was good in 1,000 feet turn right So I'm not sure if I overshot it. I saw the, the light about to turn and the place that we needed to stop was where we did stop, but I wasn't too certain about it. Now turn right. It's amazing how well it does do with knowing just where, we're, where, where we are going. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. So I'm ending the trip now. I'm taking over. Now your destination the is on the right. Parts is over here. Can't really see with this. I'm gonna tell it to park there. Let's see what happens. It's pretty hard to actually see. Rear view the side mirrors are actually bending down now. It's actually doing quite a nice job. I think that's good. Excellent. I'm here. Hit park. Well, it did go into park. Excellent. Well, I'm going to go get the sprockets now. That's the end of this video. Thanks for coming along. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Have a great day, folks.